We desperately need in Tel Aviv a messianic school. Well, I believe that we need a Tikvat Israel messianic school here in Tel Aviv, Jaffa. School where children can learn in a safe mm -hmm. environment. I believe there is a need for a messianic school here in Tel Aviv. I would love my kids to have Bible-based teachings, and there's a big need for that here in Tel Aviv, Israel. Tel Aviv, the body of believers is growing in Tel Aviv, but I want to tell you what is sad is that it, our children have to go to secular schools. When we made Aliyah back in 2003, I had to put my three most precious possessions uh, in secular, ungodly, hedonistic schools. My wife used to go to the parking lots of the schools and, and cry and pray for our children. And all three of my girls are professing believers, but I want to be honest with you, barely. It, is, it has had an impact on them. We have a generation, not only in America, but also in Israel, that, that, that Hollywood, which has a very far reach, has gotten them to question everything. Pressure to be politically correct. And that's what our kids get in the schools. Uh, at one instance in my school, uh, the teacher who was supposed to be teaching the Old Testament was teaching the kids why atheism was correct and why they were not to believe in God. And I want our children, our believing children, to grow up in a school that teaches godly principles, that teaches the love of God and of his faithfulness and of the truth that we have in him. And that is why I believe we need a Messianic school in Tel Aviv. I have a friend. And three of their children are serving the Lord, but one of their children is not, and that's what the ch they live in Jerusalem. Three of them went to private school, and they actually took them out of secular schools and saved them. But the, the, the one child who didn't, because her, her whole identity was with certain activities, uh, she's, you know, not saved at all. Anti-saved. So we have a great need in Tel Aviv for a Messianic Day School. Uh, we have to protect our children. They're... When my daughter got to, to my youngest daughter, and she's, she's nobody's pushover, she was nine, ten years old, she went to the Israeli school and, and they, she was like a celebrity for about a week because she was American. <laughs> but then when they realized that, oh, wait a minute, we, we can't have this girl because there was a pecking order. So she got pushed very quickly to the bottom. One girl uh, kept picking on her, and um, so finally Danielle kicked her in the stomach, and that was the end of that. <laughs> but uh, but that's, it's a very aggressive, obnoxious, rude. Uh, honestly, if we did not have an army, I don't know where our kids would ever learn respect. So there's a great need for a Messianic day school in Tel Aviv. It, it really is that simple. And it can't happen unless we get folks to help us. So we're believing God that people, particularly in the United States, uh, around the country, are going to get behind this vision. I, I can guarantee you that people who get behind this vision will be keeping Messianic Jewish kids out of hell. It's that simple. There are kids that if there are, is not a school for them, they will fall away and possibly never return. And there's others, if there is a Messianic Day School, they will get a foundation because you're going against the grain in Israel. It is not easy to believe, be a believer. My kids were the only believers in their high schools, in their middle schools. Let me correct that. There was one other kid in my daughter Danielle's class who, who was a believer, and they never really talked to each other because they didn't want anyone ever to... Now, most of my kids' close friends growing up, which were all unbelievers, you know, your first instinct is to say you can't have any friends who aren't believers, and then you realize that's, that means no friends. And so those, there's more bad influence. So we have to protect our kids from this. And um, I, I'm comfortable saying in Tel Aviv it's our greatest need in the Messianic community to have a Messianic Jewish day school. Not just for the Jewish kids, Arab kids too. And I don't know if you know it, but Jaffa is a predominantly Arab city. And there are many Christian Arabs in that city. We want to bless them. We want to educate them as well. I just want to encourage you to get behind this vision. But it's a worthy vision. It's great when you get to talk about something that, that, that is not yours. 
because I have no, nothing's holding me back from begging you <laughs> to get behind this vision. I'm getting nothing out of it. I don't get a check. I don't get a, a percentage. Uh, well, we could work that out. <laughs> but, but the fact of the matter is, is that I want to help you because I care about the kids. I want our kids in our congregation to have a place to go to school. Yeah. Whether or not made fun of for being messianic or where they don't have to hide it for 12 years. So um, I want you to prayerfully consider getting behind this vision. Um, the hope of Israel uh, is the name of the, of the school. And it really is that.